Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna continue working on this 2018 GMC Sierra 3500. And my plan for today's episode is to fill up with the antifreeze, the whole system, add the oil to the transmission, and do the full heat cycle. But before I do that, I wanna set up the heater that I purchased today from Lowe's. This is the heater that I got. Hopefully this is gonna be enough for my garage. It says 60,000 BTU, 16, 000, uh, 1600 square feet place, which I have. And this is the heater I've been using. It's not enough. Here's all the cooling and oil that I got from Napa. That's the cooling I'm gonna be putting in this truck. But also before I do that, Something I did notice it when I was uh, testing this uh, truck the other day. Uh, some issue that I have with this pipe. There's actually a problem with this truck right now. The air between this EGR and this pipe, the flange or I don't know, the, it's actually losing air. You can hear, hopefully you can hear. The gasket it sits not tight enough. I don't know why. It's either because um, this flange it's uh, bented or something. But I'll have to change this uh, pipe over here because it's making noise and losing the air. So in order to show you that, I'm gonna have to start the truck up to show you guys what exactly I mean. So, I hope you're gonna able to hear it. Let's start the truck. <laughs> Heard the weird whistle noise? Yeah, that's because of the air go through the gasket and whenever there's a air builds up and it pushes out, it wobbles like so and it makes that noise. But in order to fix that, like I said, I need to replace this pipe which is connects to the intake, uh, connects to the EGR and goes all the way over there to the cooler which I'll have to disconnect all those uh, lines and basically have to get this pipe from burnt truck in order to fix it I don't know what causes that uh, I'm thinking whenever it got pushed in this uh, side got raised or something and now it's losing air through here so that's the first thing I need to do before I can even start the pu uh, putting the um, coolant in it. And as you can see, let me zoom in. I think you're gonna be able to see it. Come on. Sorry for my hand shaking. See this uh, gasket is moving and it's not tight over here. So that's the issue. So let's uh, let's change this pipe right now and then I can put the antifreeze in and the training fluid. Now that I got this heater running, it's already started getting warmer over here pretty good. Let's get this uh, pipe out, or tube, and let's go outside, pull it out from the burnt truck, and install it here.
So guys, what I have over here, the this thing is raised, actually pushed down. This is uh, raised. And if you even compare it to the bends, see how this one is tight and goes easily on it. And this one it's all open. And also, what can you notice? I think you can notice this pretty, pretty good. See this thing, this side, it's kind of smashed in. And check this out. This one is actually round compared to this one. Let me get maybe one on each other. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell that way or not, or just closer. See this flange is pushed in and this one is not. So I think that's what's the problem. So this is uh, pushed, since it's pushed in over here, that's why there was a gap. Now I'm gonna clean this pipe slightly and I'm gonna install it back. Alright guys, I finished replacing this tube, everything back in place, everything is connected, this gasket doesn't move no more, everything hooked up and now it's ready to get it started again and see if I'll do the same noise or not. I'm gonna sit you here on the tripod and I will gonna go and try start this truck and see if it will do the same thing. Looks like everything is fine, it doesn't make that noise no more. And again, this uh, pipe went in smoothly. I didn't have to fight with it, so I think now it's perfectly fine. Now let's add the transmission fluid and fill it in the whole system with the antifreeze. That's it guys. The system right now it's full. I'm gonna start the truck, warm it up. The antifreeze will go down as soon as the truck gonna heat it up. I'm gonna open all the valves that needs to be open in order to circulate everything. And I think another gallon probably gonna get dropped or so, I don't know, we'll see. But now I'm ready to get the truck started and warm it up. So guys, I did full heat cycle on this truck. Everything works good. No uh, coolant leak. Uh, I add uh, what 
one, two, three, four quarts of uh, training fluid. And then everything works fine. The truck drives back and forth. I actually got stuck and uh, pushed the gas uh, so I can see a speedometer if it works, training shifts, everything works just fine. But I have some issues with the trouble codes, with the fuel rail, uh, pressure regulator, sensor A and sensor A high pressure. Also I have with the intake uh, pressure too high. And I have uh, three codes with the transmission. Uh, so I'm trying to figure this out before I uh, finish everything here because then it's going to be way harder for me to figure it out what's going on. As you can see, I took the intake tube out in order to get to that. Uh, there's a, the fuel uh, regulator or sensor or pressure sensor that I replaced. I want to disconnect that and see if it will change because I already tried this one and it shows different code. But now I want to try this one and see, and see if it's going to be the same code. If it's going to be the same code, that means some electrical issue. I'm going to have to dig in and find. Another thing of what I find out, when the fan blade is actually moving, it's uh, wobbling. So, uh, so that means the clutch fan is bad also. I'm going to have to take this... Uh, shroud out in order to replace the fan itself fan clutch actually and also uh, this is the TCM that I'm trying to see if this is good also As, and if on a closer look you can see some of the wires got pinched in slightly I went through them and see if any of them is bad, couldn't find out anything. So I'm digging through all these issues. I'm not recording because it's not going to be fun for you guys to watch. Just going to update you. The time is... What time is it? It's 7 o'clock already. Trying to figure it out what's going on. What's the... Cause uh, what causes those problems and all that before I can continue doing anything else. So that's the update. Hopefully I will find code or two and figure it out what's going on and what's going on with the training. Uh, why those codes popping out? I don't know. Hopefully I will find it and I'll let you know soon. So guys, little update for you. I think I found the problem what causes the check engine light come on, the fuel rail and the intake uh, sensor uh, pressure too high uh, so as you can see this is my old glow plug that comes from this truck and there's the new one over there so the problem is you actually have to program this uh, glow plug in order to uh, make it work properly so hopefully this is the issue was so now what I need to do is uh, prime the fenders, uh, do the body work on that fender, prime it also, put the front end together and go to somebody who can uh, program this uh, glow plug. Uh, if I can't find it, then I'll have to go to the dealer. Uh, that means I'll have to put the windshield, uh, tie in the box, also rear bumper. Uh, could not find the issues with the transmission that's something I have to do more research on it and when I connect this glow plug and I went to in the truck to get it started I started check engine light wasn't on but the thing is another thing came out and it was saying service uh, C emission service this is something new it wasn't there uh, with the other glow plug so 
and I rode a lot of forums, nobody knows how to take care of it, except the dealer. And after doing a bit of a research, it's actually not cheap, it's gonna get costly, and all the way up to $4,000. Hopefully this is not gonna be the case, uh, hopefully they can tell me what needs to be changed if I'll have to go to dealer and I can pull out from post truck. Uh, at this point, I don't know, kind of disappointed. I guess I'm gonna uh, continue assembling the truck and go from there. At this point, I'm disappointed. I'm gonna do more research to see how can you figure it out or what needs to be done. And there is now a lot of information on those trucks since they still new. Uh, L5P star coming out since 2017. They only three years around. So there's, like I said, there is not a lot of information about them. So at this point, I don't know what to do. I'm disappointed, kind of don't want to work on this truck. And I think that's, I'm going to be wrapping up this episode right here. I, I know I wasn't a lot or technical, but there's something I had to do. That's what I had to do. And that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you for your support. I'll see you next one.